What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, here today for a little bit of a collection haul update, unboxing. It's what I'm going to call an ultimate uh, collection haul and update. And yeah, we're going to cover a lot of things today. Um, I just got my first package in from Hamilton Books. It's my first time ordering from them, so I'm excited to get into this. I've got some new 4Ks that I have acquired. I have a new release from Arrow that was sent to me, so lots of cool stuff to get into today, guys. But before we do that, I want to ask if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button for more great content. I do all kinds of stuff on this channel, mostly centered around the world of physical media, unboxing, reviews, the physical media report, vlog videos, blue. Tuesday, Tuesday hunch, just all kinds of physical media, Blu-ray, 4K, DVD content in your face every single day. So definitely hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that like button, guys. Every single like will help this channel out and help it grow, and I would definitely appreciate it. And be sure, guys, to comment down below of everything that I go over today that I unbox, that I talk about. What is your favorite? Uh, what do you want to see me maybe to potentially tackle first for a review? whatever what do you like what do you own in your collection what do you not own in your collection let me know in that comment section below i love having a conversation with you guys about physical media down there so let's get into the very first thing guys and this is the hamilton book uh haul that i got and i ordered this i think about 10 days ago i did it on a live stream that i did for you guys uh so if you, anybody that's watching this was in that live chat i actually put the items in my cart during that stream which was actually pretty fun i might do a more uh, stuff like that in the future. So there were a couple things that I added later. So th there will be surprised for those that did watch that video. So I pretty much, I, I remember a couple things that I got, but I almost forgot everything that I got here. But yeah, this is really cool. Uh, box right here. I, I've seen the Hamilton book packaging on other collectors haul videos and stuff. So I know it's a very unique type of packaging. So, um, but yeah, let's get into this guys. You got to pull the tab to open. Let's see. I'm going to do this right here in front of you guys. Uh, right here in front of you. So let's see. And yeah, I can't even remember the amount of movies that I got. I think it was seven, maybe. I think it was seven. I think I ended up putting something back that I got on the stream. And then I, uh, yeah, this is really cool packaging. It rips all the way around. And, uh, let's see. I got six, six titles in this haul. So maybe I put five in my cart on the live stream and then I put one back and then I added two, something like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. Let me throw this box out of the way here. Uh, so this is six Blu-rays that I got. And these are some really cool Blu-rays. Uh, the first one that I got, um, and I think I got all this for six Blu-rays for, I don't know, $40 or something. I know a Hamilton book had like a, a flat rate shipping of like $4 or something like that. I think all this was like 36 together. And then we paid like the $4 for the shipping. Uh, yeah, I think it was somewhere around 40 bucks for these six Blu-rays. So not a bad deal considering what I got. But the first one that I want to show off to you guys is the Neon Demon. Um, so I've been wanting to own this one in my collection for quite some time. I've seen the DVD out in like the, the bargain bins and stuff like that. But this is a very visually stunning film, so I knew I needed to get it in Blu-ray, some a higher definition. So this is a Nicholas Winding Refn film, for those of y'all don't know. Um, he directed Drive with Ryan Gosling, among other films that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. This movie is batshit crazy. Um, it's got Keanu Reeves in it. It's got Elle Fanning. It's, it's nuts, the, the places that this movie goes. And like I said, it's very visual. Um, it's a movie that I remember when I was done watching it, I just felt weird for like a couple days. I didn't feel right. Um, I don't know if that's an endorsement to go watch the movie, but it is a very different film and it is one that you will not forget when you get to the end of it. I can guarantee you that. So yeah, the neon demon guys, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting movie and one that I felt I needed to own in my collection. So I went and added the Neon Demon, so there you go. Let's get into the next one, guys, and this is a Prince classic. This is Purple Rain from 1984. I didn't I didn't love this movie the first time I watched it, but I'm willing to give this one a shot because I know it's high up on a lot of people's lists. 
Um, I'm willing to watch it again. I love Prince. I love his music. I love. I definitely loved all the music in this movie. Uh, just something about the, the the way the characters acted, and the, I don't know. I don't. I just don't think Prince is a really good actor. Um, and really good at like conveying some of the emotional moments and beats that he was required to in this movie. Uh, that's what I remember when I watched it. But I'm gonna try to sit back and just enjoy it for what it is next time. Um, and like I said, Prince is is one of the all time greats, guys. There's like Prince and Michael Jackson. They're just like two superstars. Like came up in the same era, and that is I love the music so. Um, I'll give this one another shot. I'm happy to own this 1984 film in my collection now. So the next one I got, I've been waiting to find this one at a Dollar Tree for a dollar for probably two years now. I know it's there. I've seen people pick it up, but it is never um, at any of my locations. I love this movie. It is a found footage movie. I believe it came out in 2012 and it's called VHS. So I had to finally just pull the trigger and own this one in my collection. It was only $5 on Hamilton Books. So I was like, ah, yeah, it's not a dollar, but $5 is still not a bad price. Um, I believe this was going on like 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon at some point. So to even find this at a Dollar Tree for a dollar is a freaking amazing find. I wish I could have found it, but I could not. And now I own it in my collection. I wish that... Um, Hamilton Books had, had VHS too, but they did not have that in stock, at least for as far as uh, what I saw. So um, I love both of them. They're two of my favorite found footage movies. This one in particular is like super scary, like some of the segments in it. Um, and I, I just love this one, especially that first one with the uh, uh, the girl that goes home with the guys in the hotel room. It's, just, it's a freaking insane uh, sequence. And yeah, this one has a lot of cool sequences in it. So yeah, VHS one of my favorites horror movies of the past decade for sure. And I'm glad to finally own it in my collection. I definitely need to own the second one at some point. So this next one I got, guys, um, is a Martin Scorsese film. And it's one of the big ones that I had not seen yet. So I'm happy to finally have The King of Comedy in my collection uh, with Robert De Niro right there. So yeah, this is uh, definitely one that I feel like I need to watch. I believe this movie came out in uh, 1982. Yeah, this is one of the big ones. I just watched Casino. I knocked that off my list. The King of Comedy is definitely next, and I'm going to get to this one hopefully pretty soon. Also had Jerry Lewis in it. Um, this next one was a pretty cool little Hammer Films double feature. I've never really heard of either. Well, I've heard of Maniac, um, but I don't know if this has anything to do with the uh, Maniac that came out, uh, this is 1963. I wonder if the Maniac that came out in the 70s, I believe, and the one that came out with Elijah Wood, I wonder if those are remakes of this one. I'm not exactly sure. Leave that in the comment section uh, below if you if you know that. But yeah, it has Maniac and uh, Die, Die, My Darling. I feel like I've heard of Die, Die, My Darling as well. That came out in 1965. But yeah, a really cool little double set from Mill Creek Entertainment right here, guys. Um, that I'm happy to not own the collection. I think this is like five or six dollars or something. So a really cool set. So this next one I'm getting ready to show off to you guys is a Olive Films. And I don't have any of the Olive Films in my collection. So I went ahead and scooped this up. I think this is like seven or eight bucks. But this is Cauldron of Blood. Um, and it has Boris Karloff in it. So yeah, I didn't have an Olive Films uh, release in the collection. And uh, this one looked really cool. And yeah, for I, I think actually this might have been like five or six bucks. I, might, I think it might have been a little bit lower. But Went ahead and grabbed this one. It looked cool, uh, so I got it. But yeah, that's the haul I got from Hamilton Books. Let me show you all this next one that I got. And this is the Vengeance Trails Arrow Video uh, release that came out in July. So I finally uh, got Arrow Video to send this to me, and I'm thankful as always to have uh, this title in from them. So hopefully I'll get right, I'll get to um, watch this, and I'm going to cut to an unboxing at the end of this video. So if you want to see the contents of this uh, particular release, definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, hopefully I'm able to get into this one soon and maybe provide a, a review for you guys. So yeah, it's a really cool set, uh, you know, for Italian Westerns, Massacre Time. My name is Picos Banditos and God Said to Cain. So yeah, some interesting titles and I'm definitely looking to dive more into the spaghetti Western genre. I love Django. I've been talking about that 4K release from Arrow all year long. I thought that was an excellent uh, Italian Western, a great introduction into that genre for me. So yeah, definitely looking forward to checking these out. And like I said, I'm going to unbox that um, at the end of this video. So getting into my next pickups, guys, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of bending down so you guys can see me. Um, so where I work, um, I work in like an Amazon type warehouse um, and we deal with Zavi products. So I acquired these for pretty cheap. 
Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go into like specifics and details because honestly, I'm not exactly sure like what I can go into on here, what might get me in trouble. But basically, um, I acquired these through work. It's nothing sketchy. There's nothing sketchy to it. I'm just, I just always feel funny when I'm talking about uh, the product that I get from my work for very cheap because it just, it feels almost criminal to get this physical media for so cheap. But again, there's nothing sketchy about it. It's just, um, kind of like, you know, we deal with this product and it's, it's not really in the best condition and we just get it at a discount price is basically what it is. But the first thing that I got was the Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, and when I saw this, and this is not the, the, uh, US release that just came out last week. This is the one that was released overseas, but you know, 4k is not region locked. So I'll be able to watch this just the same as I can. The one that came out last week. So um, this is not one that I really felt like I needed to own, but when I saw it, I'm like, this is only, um, a dollar. And I posted that on my Instagram. I, I got this for a dollar. So I was like, why not own Zack Snyder's Justice League for a dollar? That's a great price. So now I own Zack Snyder's Justice League. Am I going to do a review of it? Probably not. I thought about it, but I, I, to be honest with you, if I did a review of it, I'd probably only watch like 30 minutes and I, there's no way I'm rewatching this four hour movie, at least not as of right now. Um, that's just, it's just too long and it was too much of a slog to get through, uh, the first time. So I couldn't do an actual review of this justice. If I watched it, I would be lying to you guys. If I said I watched the whole thing, so I'm not going to bother, uh, doing a review of this, but I, I'll watch it somewhere down the line, maybe a couple years from now or something. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, this is a cool slipcover right here, guys. It's a little bit embossed, uh, with the superheroes. Um, it is damaged, but again, a dollar, you, you can't beat that. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I'll, I'll unbox it here in a second. But the next one I got, guys, is this Arrow Video 4K release. And this is still in the plastic of Flash Gordon. Um, I got this for $2. Uh, for $2 right here, guys. I've been wanting to get this one for a while, especially since I've been checking out the Arrow Video 4Ks and seeing how great they are. This is one of the first ones that came out with. I think it was this and Pitch Black came out within a couple of weeks of each other um, back in August of 2020. So definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Now, I'm probably doing a review for it because I've never seen the movie. So yeah, Flash Gordon on 4K, guys. And the next one up, guys, uh, this one came out May with its 4K release. And this is the Speed Steelbook uh, right here, guys. So yeah, I'm glad uh, that I did not buy this in stores the first time and I stuck with the slipcover. So because when I saw this, um, at work, I was like, I have to have that. I love speed. Um, and this was only $2. So this is still in the plastic. I'm sure it's still in excellent condition. And uh, yeah, I'll cut to an unboxing here in a second. But yeah, speed on 4K, guys. The steel book. I wasn't crazy about the steel book the first time. I wasn't going to pay for it. But again, for $2, why not? Why not get it for that? Um, and the next one up, guys, is AI, um, Artificial Intelligence. It's a Steven Spielberg film. Uh, with Haley Joel Osment and I believe Jude Law. So I have not seen this movie in a long time. This is a really cool steel book. Um, it's a Warner Brothers steel book. So I don't know if the, what, what line this is a part of. I've seen some unboxings for this. I think on Basement Blues' channel, Tony over there. So definitely go check him out. Um, him, I, I feel like he's unboxed steel books like this before, but I don't own any um, in my collection. So I'm not exactly sure what line these are from. But this is a really cool steel book, and I didn't own AI in my collection, so I definitely wanted to. Now, this one is likely region locked because it is the Blu ray, but I do have a region free player. I just haven't got it hooked up yet, so I'll check this one out um, at some point. It's got a cool little poster inside, though. I didn't even know about this. Um, let's do this. Yeah, it's got a poster of the movie inside uh, the steel book, so that's definitely cool right there. All right, it's got the little alien and the disc inside. Uh, so awesome. 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 All right. Let me put this poster back in here, close the steel book up. And this is the last one I got. And I was super excited about this. This one just came out like, I think a month ago. This is a studio canal release. Um, and this is a Kira Kurosawa film ran, uh, on 4k guys. So yeah, I was, when I saw this in there, I was like, damn, I gotta have that. Uh, uh, I know a lot of people were talking about this one to saying it was a great transfer. It was a great release by studio canal. And I'm like, yeah, with the slip cover, I, I, again, I know it's a little damaged. I had to own it. I got this for a couple dollars as well. So yeah, super excited guys to, to own this one in the collection. And I will definitely be doing a review for this as well as Sam, seven samurai on criteria. And that's probably the first Kurosawa film I want to tackle. Um, and then I'll get into this one. So yeah, really cool release right here, guys. 
um, from Studio Canal. But yeah, that's it. That's everything that I got, guys. I got the six Blu-rays from Hamilton Books. I got these five releases uh, from work, including two steel books and I think, uh, yeah, three 4Ks. Wait just a second because I almost forgot to show off uh, the, uh, the most prized possession of all of these new, uh, pickups. Uh, I can't believe I almost forgot that. Um, I'm not going to edit that out. I'm going to keep this in here as like a, just a, you know, stupid little moment on my part. But, um, yeah, I got this big, uh, plutonium box set of the Back to the Future trilogy in 4K. Again, I got this from work as well. Um, this was $3.00. $3 for this badass box set gift set. I have not opened this. I don't know what this looks like on the inside, but I am going uh, to show it off to you guys right now. I don't know if I should uh, you know, cut to an unboxing at the table or if I should show it here. I don't know what will be easier. I feel like it'd be easier if I just showed it off uh, right here before I do the unboxing. So let me take off this um, little J card right here. And uh, yeah, this is a this is so freaking cool, guys. This is so cool. A plutonium uh, freaking crate right here with Back to the Future. It's so cool. Um, okay, so opening this up, guys. Pretty much inside this, I'll show this off to you guys. You open this up, and you have just the uh, the the trilogy right here is what it looks like. So we have the the 4K trilogy. This is a different cover than the set that I have. So again, really cool. Um, but yeah, I was hoping for maybe steel books inside. I, I, that might have been wishful thinking, but uh, let's uh, let's take these little things out that they got here. These little canisters um, right here in this one, you have the Almanac Almanac Grays 1950 to 2000 Blast from the Past. So I don't really know uh, what these are supposed to be. In this one right here, we have the Flux Capacitor. Uh, <laughs> these are weird. I don't know. This looked like somebody actually wrote that. And this one says map to time machine. Um, yeah, I need to look at what these are. What is this? Is this like a, I don't get it. Is this like an actual map? So I think that maybe this is like themed to the different movies. So this might be from the third one. It looks like an old West map, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, th these little like plutonium canisters um, with little like maps in them. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna uh, do an unboxing of that 4K because it's probably gonna look very similar uh, to the one I already have on the inside. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. Should I do the unboxing? Let's do the unboxing. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into these unboxings. And I have already removed the plastic for all of them because I don't, uh, this video is already almost to 20 minutes. So I don't really want to make a 30 minute video. So I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible. But as you can see, a different cover on this one than the one that was re released in the States for Back to the Future. And when you take it out right here, you can see that this is much better packaging right here because the other one uh, just has the envelopes you open this up and you get the full spread with every disc having their own little compartment um, and yeah so just definitely better packaging on this one some really cool artwork on the discs as well again I'm not gonna waste a ton of time on this um, but yeah some really cool artwork some really great packaging right here guys from Universal for the overseas uh, release of Back to the Future on 4k so all right, let's move into Flash Gordon, this Arrow video release. I'll go ahead and take it out of the slipcover and I'll show you the back and everything. And right here we got the front, we got the side, we got the spine. Go ahead and open it up. Right here you have the disc. And I'm really looking forward to, uh, to getting into this one. Um, and you may see a review of this coming soon on the channel. I'm sure this has reversible cover art, so let's go ahead and flip it. Take a look at that. That is awesome. Definitely the original poster. Very cool. Yeah, I'm intrigued about this movie. Much in the same way I am about Dune, or I was about Dune before I watched it, because I feel like these two movies are kind of in the same vein um, as far as like cheesy, campy sci-fi from the 80s. So looking forward to that one. So let's get into the uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. You got the cover right here. As you can see, you know, it is a little bit damaged up there, but I did get a discount on this, so worth it to me. Go ahead and take it out, open it up. And I discovered when I open it, it is broken around here. The disc was moving around, but 
Again, a dollar, guys, no big deal. Uh, some cool disc art right here. You got this little pamphlet inside of all the upcoming DC projects. And yeah, a little piece of the plastic came falling out right there. Go ahead and close this up. Move on to the RAN 4K. I love the cover on this. I think this is completely badass and awesome. Show you the spine, the reverse. We can zoom in on some of the specs right here, guys. Movie from 1985, the year I was born. So that's cool. Go ahead and open this up. Some cool disc art right here, guys. You can see this is a three disc set. You got extras. Uh, you got the feature. Just I think this is the regular Blu-ray. And then you got the, uh, the 4K disc up here. Definitely really cool. And I don't think that this, I don't know if Studio Canal does reversible, but we're about to find out. No, they do not. No, they do not. All right, go ahead and put this back in. Close this sucker up. And move on to these steel books. You got the speed steel book right here, guys. Go ahead and take this. Uh, I don't know how this is in there. This feels like a different kind of a shade card. This makes me nervous. This makes me a little nervous, to be honest. All right, so take this off. This glue feels much stronger. Okay, I ripped that a little bit, but okay. All right, so we got the steel book right here. Looking for any scratches, any dents. You know, I, I think this is a pretty, a pretty perfect mint steel book right here, guys. I don't know. Do y'all notice anything? Um, I do like this steel book now. Uh, I like it a little bit more than when I saw in stores. Maybe it's because I only got it for two bucks, so that's cool. Uh, right here, guys, some cool discard. I feel like this is different than the um, artwork on the 4K. I don't remember off the top of my head, but um, yeah, let me know if this is different than the steel book that was released in the United States. But you got Keanu under the bus uh, deactivating the bomb or rerouting it or whatever the hell he's doing under there. All right, guys, this is awesome. I love the steel book. Love it, love it. Glad I own it. So we'll show you the AI steel book again. Right here, guys, you got this poster right there. I already showed that, so I don't really need to go too much in depth. So let's move on to the Vengeance Trails box set right here, guys. And I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think this is a J card that comes off. I don't want to rip this. All right, move that to the side. But right here, you got the spine with the four movies. Nothing on the back, which is kind of kind of curious. I would have thought there'd been something on the back there. So you got the spine, the front. I love the cover artwork on this. Freaking awesome. Let's take all these out. You got a cool little booklet inside, of course. Arrow always doing the best work when it comes to these box sets and booklets and everything. Awesome work right there, guys. You got a poster. I'm trying to think, is this just one poster? Or do they got four posters in here? Let's see. Again, this is something I should have done when I got it out. I'm trying to show you all. All right, let's see. We got these four separate um, separate cases right here. And God said to Cain right here. We'll zoom in. I'm sure it's got reversible cover art, so I will show that off as well. And yeah, this was given to me, sent to me by Arrow Video. So thank you so much to Arrow Video. And I'm definitely going to be watching these and hopefully reviewing them soon. Right there, guys. I always say soon, but it, it might take me a couple months, three months in some cases. All right. Open this up. Cool discard on this one. I like the discard on that. Banditos. Banditos. Very cool. My name is Picos. Right there, guys. I'll zoom in on some of these special features for y'all. Cool discard on that one as well. This is just a badass set. I love these aero box sets so much, guys. Love them so much. So cool. My name is Picos. Right there. Cool stuff, guys. I don't, I don't really see a huge difference between the reversible cover art. This is Franco Nero, the same guy in Django, filmed by Lucio Fulci. Uh, so this is the Fulci film in this collection. The guy who directed Zombie and uh, House uh, Beyond the Cemetery. Right there, you got the specs. Open it up. Some more cool disc art right here, guys. Flip this around. That is cool right there. All right. There you have it, guys. There you have it. There is the um, haul collection update unboxing, the ultimate haul collection video and unboxing. Like I said, I had to just go ahead and unbox everything. It wouldn't be an ultimate um, unboxing if I didn't, right? So I had to do it all. I had to do it all for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, though. Please 
like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in that comment section below what do you think of the haul? What's some of your favorites here? What should I review, tackle first? Let me know all of that in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.